Hey, yo, what's happening, YouTube? That button down there doesn't say subscribed with a D, and it says subscriber. Okay. Go ahead and hit that button because you're not subscribed and you need to join the family. It's Chalker and I'm checking back in for a video you guys have been requesting for quite some time. It's a Q&A video. So I recently asked on all my social medias what you guys wanted to answer. And I got a butt ton of questions on my phone so we're going to answer. Alright, so some people sent multiple questions and I'm actually going to start with my sisters. The first question she sent uh, was, what... That's not the question. What gender do you identify as? And see, sister, I'm not just one gender. I am actually like third atheist, uh, libertarian, like, you know, scorp scorpion loving asexual. Okay. The next question was from Jessica, a great friend of mine. She says, how does it feel to be graduating and leaving high school in the next few months? And congratulations, Javi. Um, Honestly, it feels really good to be graduating. Um, I kind of want it to be over with just so I can start my, you know, this new next step where I'm actually doing what I want to be doing. And yeah, I'm excited. I mean, what else could I say? I'm, I'm, I'm excited to start. So thank you, Jessica. This is from that one girl, Topaz, the Fasio. She said, what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? So for me, my inspiration behind YouTube and all this is I really want to just spread positivity around the world. I want to make people happy and I want, I, just, I don't know, I want to give them a reason not to be sad or down throughout their day. I want to give them a reason to smile and look forward to their day. And that, that was my main inspiration. So thank you for asking to pass you. So these next questions are like a set of questions and it's from my gal Jaylene. And um, she got them from her church group, her church youth group, like she asked around there. And I guess they all had questions, so that's what we're going to be answering. But they, they all wanted to stay anonymous. 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 So we're going to give them names. So Jaylene asked, how did you get so handsome? Uh, I'm still ugly as heck, but thank you, Jaylene. Thank you. Arkeisha asked, what's, what's your go inspirational motivational song? Ooh, okay. So my motivational song. Huh, what is my motivational song? Do I have a song to pump? I don't really have a song to pump up to. Like, that's not really me, but I can tell you my favorite song, and that's probably um, I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz. That song is gorgeous. No, Lucky is a gorgeous song as well. Oh, I don't know. I don't really have an inspirational song, Arkeisha. So, I'm sorry. Uh, the next one is from Dark Keisha. What would you name your unborn child? So, honestly, uh, we have like a kind of legacy going on with my, my dad and my grandpa and we're all Javier's and I'm the third So I'd probably name like my first child if it was a girl I'd name her Javier. I'm just kidding. If it, was, if it was a boy, I'd name him Javier and If it was a girl, I'd probably name her. I've always loved the name Violet, but then like I realized that it's Kind of sounds like a stripper name, so I don't like Violet anymore So I don't really have a girl name, but I also do really like the name Marktavius for a guy so I'm not sure, I just, I just gave you like a couple of suggestions there, so thank you for asking. And then Fart Keisha, okay, asked, how long are your armpit hairs? And I don't know. That's, that's my right armpit. That's my left armpit. So there you go, Fart Keisha. I hope you're satisfied with your question. The next question is from Naomi, or Naomi, <laughs> Naomi, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was reading your Instagram name. She says, what got you into vlogging? So, I'm still not like super into vlogging. I'm not really, I, I, I do like vlogging. I do like vlogging, it's, it's pretty cool to do. But I'm still that really awkward vlogger, you know, and I kinda gotta get more used to the camera and being out and about with it. So, um, I guess if I had like some inspirations behind vlogging, it'd probably be like Casey, Casey Neistat or Jesse Wellens. I think their vlogs are really cool and inspirational. So that's like who I base my vlogs off of. So thanks for the question, Naomi. Uh, Horticia asks, pistachio ice cream or Rocky Road? Rocky Road, baby, that's my favorite ice cream. Rocky Road all the way. Indisha asks, are you thick with two C's? And um, I don't know, you tell me, am I? Okay, we're done with that. And this one says, Jerkisha says beach or rainforest. And I'm gonna sound crazy here, but I'd rather go to a rainforest. I think forests are beautiful, and there's so much like 
adventures you can do in them. And a, a beach is just a beach, you know? You can go swimming, that's probably it. You could probably go swimming in like a lake in the rainforest. I mean, I think I explained that one pretty good. Lokeisha asks, what is the ideal date? Okay, so I've been like stoned upon this like by my whole class. Um, I think the ideal date is something you can not necessarily, not, it doesn't have to be something expensive, you get me? I feel like the first date could be somewhere where you're just talking. I feel like talking is huge on the first date because if you guys don't have that connection, then why, why keep on going out, you know? So that's what I, I try to learn on the first date. So I usually take them out to like, like just get something to eat or like somewhere to go have fun and where we can, where there's a lot of talking. So movie theaters is not my ideal first date. Um, yeah, that's uh, just somewhere where we can talk. Naisha asks, do you have a fetish? I don't think I have a fetish. I don't think I have a fetish. Um, I do, I do like lips and I do like eyes. Like eyes are a big winner for me. I don't know why, they're just huge for me. Uh, but I don't think they're considered fetishes. I, no, I don't have like a weird foot fetish or anything like that. No, that, that's not me. Uh, <laughs> um, Paish says, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No, okay, what is love? Um, I feel like two really big words to define love are trust and um, support. I feel like those are huge words and just connect a connection is something big. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like a relation, like a dating type of love. Like it could be a friendship love. And I don't know, that's what I feel like some big categories are just trust and support. Now I'm going over to questions from my cousin and her boyfriend, so Nani and Jerry, and um, not, they they asked, "Do you love your job as a YouTuber?" And personally, I do love my job as a YouTuber. I do get busy, and sometimes I can't make videos, but I love being able to like make your, some of your guys' days. Or I don't know. I do love I do love the fact that some of you guys come up to me and tell me that like, "Ha, oh, your video was so funny, it made me laugh." You know, I do love my job as a YouTuber. I really do. Uh, they also asked, what's the gayest thing you've done? So, I believe gayest means happiest, so the happiest thing I've done is probably like go to Disneyland or something, you know? What's the most girls you've talked to in a summer? In a summer! In a summer! In a summer! Um, most girls I've talked to in a summer. I think like... Uh, another question for my sister. She says, is mac and cheese called mac and cheese because mac, M-A-C, stands for mac and cheese or because it's macaroni and cheese? And I think it's because it's macaroni and cheese because... Wait, is mac and cheese called mac and cheese because mac stands for mac and cheese or because it's macaroni and cheese? Wait, wait, but it, if you go... If mac and cheese is called mac and cheese because mac stands for mac and cheese or because it's macaroni and cheese, wouldn't it be like maxception? Do you get me? So it'd be like macaroni and cheese, cheese, macaroni and cheese, cheese. <laughs> Damn it, I just got myself into like an eighth grade joke. I think it's macaroni and cheese. Just macaroni and cheese. My sister asks, why don't cough, rough, through, and though rhyme, but pony and balloon? <laughs> Pony and Maloney do. <laughs> I've never realized that. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. So, do you think farts are ghosts of food we eat? Uh, totally. Totally, you know? It's. You, you gotta remember them someday. Some days. Rip hamburger from yesterday. So Anissa Cardenas asked, will you make your own challenges for fans to do? And uh, I, I do believe that I probably will make challenges for fans to do. I've seen some really cool things where like YouTubers will leave something out in a city and they'll have fans come find them. So if I ever do get that big, which I am gonna get that big, um, yeah, I probably will make challenges for my, my following to do. She also asked, have you ever thought of doing Let's Plays for your channel? 
I have. I'm just waiting on one piece, so expect Let's Plays pretty quickly, okay? And Selena from Cali asks, who are the top five most amazing people you have ever met and became good friends with? That's a hard question. I've met a lot of great people and not a lot of people stick around and talk to me or like can I can trust to to tell things to. Nicole Gomez asks, turn on and turn off in a girl. So I think turn off would definitely be um, just hygiene, like hygiene issues, you get me? And that'd be like smelly breath, smelly like like smell is a big thing for me and yeah that'd probably be one of the biggest ones just hygiene uh turn on is good hygiene it's eyes it's nice uh lift it's uh, it's honestly the probably the biggest turn on for me would be like a mind because if i'm able to talk to you and have really in-depth conversations with you that really 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 catches my attention so that's probably the biggest turn on in a gal for me What's happening, y'all? This isn't an intro, this is an outro. But that's gonna be it for now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys can, please, uh, it, it, well, actually, yeah, please go hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and leave a like on this video and drop a comment on your favorite question I answered, I guess. And subscribe, or not subscribe, follow me on all my social medias, they'll be on the screen. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'm checking out. I'm